Hello and welcome to the stream. Tonight we return to Kubi Factorium. Uh, during the last time, the last time we played, we built this uh, this island. This is the fourth island, and we've nearly harvested everything we can from it. Uh, we just need to do probably a little bit more, and then we will call it call it good and move on to the fifth island. So let's just get started. Start out by unpausing. I get get my zoom level right here. Uh, last time we talked about raising this target. Just to see what the next goal would be. And it looks like it's charcoal. So I think we can we can accomplish that. We have not yet, I don't think, built... No, we have not yet built the uh, kiln to make the charcoal. Go ahead and do that. It'll at least do a little bit extra. Because that'll help us toward the next islands. The... Uh could have been here. There it is. I looked right at it and didn't see it. And then we need a stockpile for the charcoal. And we can output stuff we don't need in there. Charcoal. We'll go ahead and leave the charcoal we have, which is only two, on the ship. Because it'll come with us to the next island anyway. And it counts toward our toward our target. And there's only two of them. So, not a huge deal. We need someone to operate the kiln, though. The kiln. There it is. I think that'll be a good person. Why are they putting stone blocks? Interesting. They shouldn't be allowed to put them there, because this is filtered to only allow charcoal. Oh, it's not... Okay. It was the stone blocks put there in order to build... ...kiln with. Excellent. Okay, so the kiln takes in... Uh, ...logs and makes charcoal. Let them go ahead and get started on that. There's already one there. It must have been laying on the ground or something. Didn't come off the ship. Go ahead and deselect these tools. Or is there any on there? There should have been some on the ship. Interesting. So, at the end of the last stream, we also looked at this uh, logistics system. And I sure don't see how these guys transport. Because they're not loading the logs onto the carts. And they're not... Yeah, that is, that is definitely weird. They're not loading the stuff onto the carts. I set this one logs. Does that then transport them to this one? Well, if nothing else, 
the kiln is taking the logs and using them. For some reason, no one ever came and got this iron and carried it and put it into the stockpile, which is not full. Yeah, I don't know how that works. It definitely didn't work this way in the tutorial. That's why. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that might be why. May need to link the two together. In order to get them to work. Alright, it's it's definitely being a little bit creepy with the It's clicking on different stuff than the one that I want it to click on. All right. There we go. And this one. There. See if that helps. So now we have a flag. Loop detected. Need to deselect that then? No. Okay, maybe we don't want. So since the logs are going this direction and only this direction, maybe we don't want the other opposite direction. Same thing with here. Don't want this one going in this direction. All right. This might be the reason. No, I don't need that either. Yeah, I think that's the reason. I did miss a step. Okay, and then from here, we don't need this one going back in this direction. I think that will do it. Hopefully. We'll have to see. Okay, so... You are carrying logs. Excellent. It is working. That's what the problem was. I don't know why this one is not carrying logs. Looks like it's stuck. That'll hold 24 if we can get them to get this piece of iron out of here. Nobody wants to move it for some reason. So now I wonder if we didn't actually need to change the zones on all of these. I think we should change them back and see. If I can find them. Red zone. And... Red. 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 Oh, I would like to also claim the rest of this land. Let's do a big bonfire. We can claim these last colonists too while we're at it. Let me go ahead and expand this stockpile a little bit just so that we can compensate 
or the extra iron that's in here for some crazy reason that they won't take out. I mean, I, I assume that each one of these squares can hold four. If these three can hold four, then the rest of these should be able to hold four. Unless it's a display issue and there really is, well, one, two, three times six, 18 times four is 72. So maybe it's just a display issue. Maybe there actually really are, maybe that really is full. That's the case we could do this. Except iron. And they will move them then. Yep, that is the case. So this is just a display issue. They're not properly showing. Yeah. That'll do it. This is probably the same issue. It's only going to be 68 because it has this one track part in it. Which we could deal with, I suppose. We could just create a stockpile that takes some of this other random stuff. The track parts. Good. You don't have to do the little logistic thing there. Moved it on their own. I think that's the only thing that was in the wrong stockpile yet. I'm not as worried about the stuff that's just laying around. Because they'll eventually... Or it'll go with us to the next island anyway. Okay, so we... We added the rest of the colonists to our community. We have... Two spaces left still in houses. Even after adding them, hopefully. We had six people, so if... If this house fills up, then we need to build another house. For the last of the people. I think this horse is broken. There we go. I rebooted him. Not taking the logs. Is that because we don't need them? The other horse had. This one's stuck now, too? No, there it is. What? Well, that is another horse that's stuck there, too. Okay, we'll go from... get it to select properly. Three. One. Yeah, it got stuck again so for some reason. That's odd. That's definitely odd. Okay, we reached our charcoal target. Uh, did we claim the rest of the island? We did. Let's see what else we can harvest, though, while we... And we're definitely not going to build the stuff we need to build for the iron block. But I would like to harvest the rest of this island. Just to get the last of these stone bits. Stuff like that, to take those with us to the next island. Definitely want to take this wheat with us. Is there to harvest anything? Just weeds. I'm not that worried. Flowers we could take with us. Guess we'll chop down these trees. Alright, we'll let the miners do that. And then we can probably move on to the next island. These, these horse carts keep getting stuck. 
And they're not now that's not carrying the cocoa beans. There. Maybe it's because this station is full of trees. I think so. Or I assume so. Or full of logs, rather. And there's not really anywhere for them to go. Because there's only room for two more here. And there's two waiting to get loaded into there. track parts laying around. Eight track parts. They're double high. Okay, here comes the logistics sheep and logistics pigs. Well, we, we took in some new colonists. Let's see if any of them want to help mine. This one can help mine. Clear this stuff up. Yeah, so those those colonists had not yet moved into the house. Build them a house out here. Just to make sure we have enough room for all of our colonists. this sand geode that has a lot of stuff in it. And a few trees and a few other piles of rocks. Oh, there's a geode there too. A lot of stuff. Really don't need to harvest the worm that's in the grass, or in the in the lake, if we even can. We never did build a bakery and, and do that this time around. We're actually going to be a little low on food going into the next island. We might want to try and resolve that. Because the next island has very little to any grass, if I remember the world map correctly from the last time. Red, there. Let's go ahead and build. Let's get this going, and we'll get a stockpile full of full of bread going. It's probably full. 
24. No, actually there is. Well, there it is. Now it's full. Okay, never mind. Although I guess we could put another stockpile up just to pick that up with. We do two stockpiles here. We collect some of these ores. they'll clean this up and let this let the people mining this geo mine it a little bit faster. Somebody please pick up that stone before it's too late. It's gonna be too late. Make this one bigger. Alright. Have we here? Harvested cotton. At least one of the horse carriages or horse carts is working. Horse carriages. I had it right the first time. Good. This one got unloaded. That. That. Okay, we we should have, we apparently have a baker somewhere. We do. I'm tired. The sheep just standing there. Yep, just standing there. Oh, not something again. lack of, of grasslands of any kind in the next map, I'm I'm concerned about having enough food. So baking baking the bread is going to be a good plan. They're well in here. And a stockpile for water so that our baker doesn't have to walk nearly as far. He's walking all the way down here to get water. It didn't take long for that to fill up. How close are we? Only six more to go. just about hit the... Oh, we can't. We don't have enough space. That's fine. I'm not going to bother setting up the stuff for the iron, so... Fine with not worrying about that other objective. Just speed these guys up a lot. To get that bread baked as soon as possible. 
Let me come over here and focus on this well. Go. Baker doesn't have to walk so far. <laughs> Interesting that the uh, well operators keep rotating between the wells instead of just staying at the one they're at. We should be able to get, it looks like, five, five times six. We should be out 30 bread, so that should be a good amount, at least to get to the next island and get something set up, along with the fruit that we are making here. Or making, yeah, growing. Hey, Baker, you no longer have to Walk all the way down there for water. You could just come here for water. I guess we can we can fix that with the input um, stockpiles, but we have to make sure that we select all the product inputs because once you select one stockpile for input, they will only collect items from that stockpile. Much better. Now he doesn't have to go as far to get his water. to those too early. And the game minimize itself again. There's our baker. Oh, he disappeared. Is this done? Yes. So they harvested all of that. We get enough bread baked here. We'll move on. Oh, he's going to sleep. That's where he's going. Sleep food. I suppose necessities. Well, I was going to clone it and do another bakery, but we'd have to have another baker then. Which we, I suppose we could assign. I'm hoping he makes enough. Gets a stockpile up on bread. I think we just have so many people that we're not growing enough food. Tomato. There. Not very good there. not growing enough food. I have to keep that in mind for the next island. We have so many people now. Do we have... 28 and 8 pigs. No, 12 pigs. Uh, 
eight pigs and two sheep. That's what we have. Getting close to the limit on food here, or on bread here, so. I think he has to call it because I think he's done. Yeah, he can't fit any more in. So, until somebody eats one at least. So I think let's go ahead and leave this island. Move on to the next island. So we did these four. We could do Earned Road Island. There's two castaways, drained goods, no resources, normal terrain, no enemy camps. Via Island, Herders and Pigs. And it goes to enemy camps, only basic resources. Flat terrain versus normal terrain. Mountain terrain. I could do this one. I think we can do this one. Start out. Yep, there's a castaway camp over there. So let's start out by boards and stone blocks. Okay, wooden boards. Missing them, hopefully. Why does it look like we're missing stuff? Oh, there they are. Wooden boards. Stone blocks are here. Okay, good. Now we can build big bonfires. Drop down some trees here. This, this, and this. You know what? Let's clean up the junk too, because it's going to be in the way soon. Might as well clean it up now. Okay, we'll set up our base the same way we have been with two two by three stockpiles, one for rocks, one for logs. Workplaces. Uh, 
will be for stone blocks. Got it already. Okay, good. And this one will be for wooden boards. Now we can unload our ship. I will put this one here so that it's not in the way of our expansion. Please. This will be wooden handles. You know what I didn't unload from the ship? All the tools. I miss one. Four tools. Did I get all four? I think so. Three wooden boards. No. Uh, handles. And this is... Stone blanks. Expanding. Things reach so far, it's crazy. Definitely worth it. Uh, we need some stockpiles for foodstuffs. tools. We're making the wooden parts. That's not what I wanted. some houses pretty soon. I guess probably right here is the best place for them. House. It's six houses last time and we added one, so that's seven. do a tree grove of some kind here. Palm or cacao trees. Cacao trees in 600 seconds, so that's 10 minutes, give us two logs and one cocoa beans. Palm trees in five minutes give us three logs. Well, those are definitely better. And we can grow wheat or cotton. So we definitely will want to grow wheat there. Cancel these... don't think we can grow anything on 
No. Nothing on that. But I think we can grow trees out here. Yeah, we can grow Joshua trees. Which, in 400 seconds, give us two logs. So we'll be able to get a lot of wheat. And a lot of palm trees. We should probably mine a good chunk of this, just so we can expand in that direction. We had many animals. Eight pigs and two sheep, so we need, we're gonna need three barns as well. I think we should probably go ahead and start planting wheat because that's going to get messy if we don't have it this way that will be wheat right and then we can have now we should put over here the ship. I should shape the stockpile the opposite way. Because then I can put the baker in here. And another stockpile for him. Destroy these. I say this is where I will probably put my pigsties and whatnot. I don't really need that kind of road. But we need to build also a table or two. Stockpile for wooden parts here. Those. Boat. I will put another well in out here. We need to put one over here soon for that. Well, it's probably not as necessary, but let's put in a road here. And then a stockpile. And a well. There we go. So now the baker will have access to water and the wheat to make the bread. There's definitely no green land on this island, so there's no more strawberries or tomatoes after these have been eaten. Lots of copper.
This one's making tools, and I want to make sure that I have stockpiles for each tool. There are four tools. Ooh. Okay, four. Stone. Oops. Stone pickaxe. Shovel. Swords. And hammers. Then, you can also unload those four. We unload all of our wheat. So much of everything that we probably don't didn't even need to build any of these, but I always like to plan. I would like I like to plan for it. I like the idea of planning for it anyway. I can say I always like to plan for it because I haven't been playing this game that long. That one there. One out here. Alright, so there were colonists Go building the houses. There are colonists out here. I want to make sure I have enough housing, so maybe I'll build one more house. And then we can build some uh, pigsties and sheep pens over here. I think we should probably do stone roads, because we have so much stone, we could use some. I didn't even see a dent put in put into our stone supply. Unless it came off the boat's uh, stockpile. I don't remember what that was before. Are these just oh more geodes, more more ore. Excellent. What else do we need to unload? What else should we work on? I guess we could start building the smelting and, and whatnot. First we need a kiln. Because we need to... Um, we need to make charcoal because we're going to need to make fire. Right, we need to continue to expand these. That one up. There we go. Charcoal. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think the smelters... They require brick to be built, so we're gonna actually have to have this this kiln building brick as well. Start with charcoal. And then brick.
I think I may want another baker. Because we're, if that's our only source of food is uh, bakery items. Whether I mean we could do well, we can't do lunch boxes or strawberry donuts because we don't have any strawberries or tomatoes. All right now we can do the barns. Oh, we can only get two barns in here right here. Do a third one there, but I think I want to try and put another horse station in here if we can. Maybe we'll put the sheep sty, sheep pen rather, down here. That. Well, I don't know which one will be which, but. I built the bonfire and then went and took a nap. Might have to put one bonfire in the middle there. But I, that might be it. It's just one somewhere in the middle. I like this idea of putting them around the edges. As much as we can, anyway. And this one's in the middle, one more in the middle, that'd be pretty good. Do another stone road here. And then we will build a couple of horse melters. One for copper, one for iron. One's going to make copper blocks out of copper ore. We can't crush yet. And this one's going to make iron blocks out of the ore. We also don't have gold available to us yet. Hopefully soon. Need some place to deal with the, what's left of this stone. Maybe we can make a little stockpile here of stone. And a few... A little bit of logs, too. Hopefully they empty out. Baker. Did. Where is Tilrun? What is Tilrun doing? Tilrun is sleeping. Oh, okay. That's okay then. Sleep away. good. I would have liked to have these stockpiles get emptied out before it's filled up completely. 3 times 3 is 9 times 4 36. There's a little bit of space truly there then. brick. We need to get these cleaned out. Actually, I wonder if we have brick. We should have brick in the... We can't get rid of the copper. if that helps. 
Please clean those out first before you gather the stuff off the regular part of the ground. Hey, Lana, welcome to the stream. I'm yelling at my colonists today. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Now, the ship should have at least a little bit of brick and a whole lot of charcoal. Oh, we need the clay. Right. Right. Let's set up a stockpile for clay back here someplace. Just need a little one. It's all on the ship. There's plenty of brick on the ship, too, though, so that's good. Or a few bricks, I should say, on the ship. At least three. All right. Did we get... There's one little spot here where we may not have gotten... Or we appear to have not gotten any... Oh, there's a little bit more than that. Okay. Let's put one more bonfire right there in the middle. That should take care of that. Do we have clay incoming? We do have clay incoming. Awesome. Oh, we had a lot of brick. All right, we need to send a couple of colonists to smelting. Let's see, or smelters. This one's only doing logistics, and this one. Okay. We definitely do not have enough water. Maybe we can put another well in. I'd like to put a road in through here. Like that. Like that. Oh, interesting. The stone roads have to be mined. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you consider this game in the same class of games as... That's interesting. The, the game speed said it was running at 4x, but it's obviously running at 1x. Um, yeah, if you consider this game as part of the same class as, as Oxygen Down Included and RimWorld and Dwarf Fortress, then yeah, we're all the same. Somebody gonna come and mine or and, and smelt this smelt this ore. You know what? We have some blocks on the ship. We might as well pull them off of the ship. The, oh. oh, apparently the sheep and the pigs can live in the same barns. Awesome. Oh, I forgot to build tables again. Nobody reminded me to build tables. Oh, let's see. We can put one table in there. One table in there. Um... I don't think so. They have uh, 
They have natural abilities towards jobs, I think. But I don't think they have traits per se. I think they're all kind of the same. I suppose we could unload the ship's stores of tea and beer. I think we still have, definitely have tea. Yeah, we have beer too. And then they'll at least give them something else to drink so they're not using up, we have chocolate milk too. They're not using up all of the water, drinking up all the water. But we should set up a brewery and start brewing some more tea at least. Um, the problem is, is we don't have a way to renew the flowers. So once the flowers are, that we have are gone, we're done with tea. What can be built on this ground. Uh, looks like cacao trees and cotton. Well, they could at least do the chocolate milk by planting on that, planting the cacao trees there. And that'll also give us another supply of logs. Not that we really need them. Oh, actually we should start making some wooden boards because we appear to be out of them. And some stone blocks. Likewise. This here. Bread. Yeah. We're just they're eating all the bread really fast. Why is the workshop idle? Definitely have people assigned. see why unless it's just the, the logistics but they're not idle they're socializing I think that could be maybe they're just uh, distraught from not having friends for a while mine these chests we might find something edible in them having a heck of a time with with food right now and it's not through lack of trying either because we have two bakeries i don't know where the other baker went sleeping again sleeps a lot oops about that
Well, it looks like we are smelting. I see additional blocks showing up. We may still just not be producing enough, enough bread. We need to produce more. Let's knock down, uh, mine, that, put another wheat farm over here, a uh, farm, not a grove, a farm, another wheat farm over here. And then we can set up a bakery here as well. We can assign another colonist to it. We probably don't need as many farm workers. Now well, we should probably leave it. Who else wants to bake? Ernst might be good at baking. Display bug there. Really put in a road going across here. just about hit our goals for this map already. We just need a few more charcoal. Put another stockpile for charcoal somewhere. Up, and then we'll put it out here. Another stockpile in and just have the kiln outputting to that stockpile as well. Alright, so let's do stockpile. Here, this will be for bread. Get rid of this copper again. Nowhere for it to go. How much copper, so a little time. Right, you can take that copper and then we'll build another bakery. Another stockpile here for wheat from the farm. We can put in a well and another uh, water stockpile right here. Well, It didn't take long for that stockpile to get filled again. 
Alright, we wanted to put a stockpile in here for charcoal. We'll put another copper stockpile in out here. We have so much. Hopefully, that convinces them to make more bread. You have three bakers now. Tilrun is sleeping. Tilrun is gonna sleep forever. I do want to keep mining this because we will want all of that ore eventually. Any ore in here or is this all just sand and nothing? I think it's all just sand and nothing. Let's see if Tilvren is still sleeping. Yes, Tilvren is still sleeping. Okay, well, let's assign another baker then. Who's also sleeping. These peeps sleep all the time? Sleep is 100%, which means you shouldn't be sleeping anymore. I have no idea. food barely have any food there and other bakers are still sleeping I really don't get the sleeping thing We 
hella would like to be baker. Who bizarre? I mean, I mean, I get they need to sleep, but if their sleep is at 100%, they shouldn't need to sleep anymore. That should kind of be the thing, right? I didn't think of it, but we can always import food if we need it via the the shipping shipping port. I don't really want to. Well, I guess I can export something in order to get food in, but I don't really want to do it if I don't have to. It's wheat stores. It did, so we can unselect this one, this one. We took care of all of our stone tools, so we can unselect those. I just don't like having all those arrows around. We don't need them. Love wooden parts. I think we got all of our stone blanks. Got all of our bricks. Wooden handles, like charcoal, and our metal pieces. All right, so we need to make wooden handles here. Stone planks here. Stone tools. And then I'd like to put in... Oh, we already hit the target. Let's see what the next target is. Construction blocks, more charcoal, and track parts. Fun. The upgrade workshop. There. the speed a little bit. Where, where are our smelters at? I mean, they are smelting, because we have definitely... I bet you these guys are sleeping, too. Sleeping? Sleeping! Yeah, that, that's that got to be a bug, right? I mean, if their sleep is at 100%, they shouldn't need to sleep. enough bread to keep everybody satisfied. I don't think so. No, because we're not accumulating any. And we have so much so much ore to smelt and nobody to smelt it because nobody wants to stay awake long enough to do any work. How are you homeless? Do we don't have enough houses? Apparently not. Alright, well let's build some more houses then. I want to build houses. I guess we can put houses... Now I should brew some beer here. Put houses over here someplace then.
Um, yeah, the ingredients are here. I would say something about not having ingredients. Uh, they just need the charcoal and whichever ore their, their instructions are to smelt. From the mine, so I definitely have picked the mined iron and the mined copper as opposed to the crushed because we can't crush yet. Why well, we might be able to crush, but and those are the only recipes there are, and they need the charcoal otherwise. They have charcoal available, so. I think it's just those people are just sleeping. They're just they're just lazy. Sleeping. Sleeping. Weird. But like I mentioned before, I am playing on like the bleeding edge beta version kind of thing. Like so it's definitely the most recent code, so there could be bugs in it that got introduced. We do have bakers now. Untard is sleeping. Baking. Sleeping. Baking. But Untard was was baking earlier, so We are out of logs. All right. Oh, we need to knock down some of these Joshua trees, and then we need to plant some trees someplace. Could plant some trees here. Take the stockpile out here. I D zone that. Band that, and then zone the wheat to go this way instead. Okay, stop being derpy. Thank you. If I can get another tree out of it here, and I can get those two, two sections of wheat there. And yeah, the bread making, they just need water and wheat, so there's plenty of water, plenty of wheat. There might even still be some weed on the ship, or did we get all that out eventually? Got it all. Oh yeah, we, we just deselected those. Alright, so we now have... Okay, so there were two people who didn't have houses. We have an extra house now. Oh yeah, I guess I could have looked up here. We definitely... We are possibly gaining net food. Oh. There's a good indicator. As to what we have housing for. I guess I should read these things, huh? Yeah, we only have... I guess I can change this now to be chocolate milk. We could pull the chocolate milk off of the ship. that. We have milk as well. We'd like to plant the cocoa trees or cacao trees over there so we can make the chocolate milk.
Yeah, we're gaining because I think that's what the plus means is that we have oh, we have like a trending, trending up. Same thing with the drinks, although that's because I just unloaded a bunch of chocolate milk from the ship. So that's not going to last long. We need to definitely plant some cocoa trees over here. Definitely need to get these guys smelting more. Well. Still sleeping? Sleeping. Sleeping. Okay, as soon as I clicked, this person went... Yes, thank you. They now have... A hammer. You know, that says no tool equipped. The hammer icon right here. Yeah. What does this look like as far as... Yeah, well, that's not too bad. Build a tree grove here as well. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Grove. There. And then we'll make this also palm trees. We could have a massive Joshua tree grove, though, like out here someplace. Where we don't need to go, ever. I mean, we don't need to expand to, ever. And knock this mountain down here. I would like to get rid of some of this stuff. Well, we just went, we just tore through all that bread. We must have lost a baker to the, uh, with a long sleep or something here. Oh, well, looks like we have all three bakers possibly baking. Yeah, all three bakers are baking. Can we go as far as pastures out here? Can we pasture? Apparently we can. Apparently the pastures don't care. I like that. We can raise more cows. We can plant a metric ton of Nope, I did that backwards. Plant a metric ton of cacao. that. Not that it really matters. I'll put that into a stockpile right here. Thank you for picking. Thank you. Okay. Cocoa beans. Then we need another stockpile. Stay right here. logs. Good. Keep them separate. Then we can run our road right along there. Why? cows. Yeah, Faisy made that joke, a very similar one the other day. Glad to see you guys have similar similar sense of senses of humor. Alright, let's see. So, if we have a brewery 
here. Yeah, I'll put the chocolate milk there, which means we need to have an input of milk here. ourselves a large ranch large pasture out here why is there junk there not junk there what is going on with that apparently we can't build it there so we'll build it over here instead and of course the game did a goofy thing here and didn't select properly there we go cows i'll put to there for milk have so much mined metal. Hey look, somebody's smelting. Awesome. And I'll put the milk out to there. Trying to get places to get them to put these items that they've mined so we can get them out of the other stockpiles that they're sitting in, like this one. Do another stone one here. That is weird. That's also weird. Like, doesn't remember what you selected. Not well. already maxed out our copper storage again. Crazy. Yeah, sleep smelting. Nice. cow farm over here. Oops. No, I messed that up. Look, there's bread in the stockpiles. Yay! Scarab. Yeah. 
Copper's already full again. Insane. All that copper. Might have to do, yeah, just do a big Joshua tree farm here. Someplace too. Oh, I forgot we had cocoa beans on the ship. Unload those. Anything else useful? Not just yet. Could make some more tea with the flowers, but that won't last long anyway. Oh, we have plenty of logs on the ship. Maniac. Load some of those. Shiny cocoa trees. Like Skittles trees with all the colors in them. What's a fennec? Is that a fox? These are hippos, yes. And apparently they're all named Lissy. Yep, they're all named Lissy. Apparently every animal is named Lissy. Ostrich is named Lissy, Fennec's named Lissy. Oh, there's a turtle named Tortolioli. Right. But most things are named Lissy. It must be like the first name in the list or something and it's bugged out. Crumbs. Crumbs the pig. Old pork. What is the deal with this mountain piece here that doesn't want to go anywhere? It just doesn't want to go anywhere. Christmas is coming? Is there a calendar I'm missing? Are you talking about the Skittles trees? Oh, oh, hippos for Christmas? Maybe cows can't be raised in a pasture in the desert. Let me select it, though. But they haven't even... cleared it yet. Of course, there's not really anywhere to clear it to. Because these are so full. Critters named Lissy? Yes. All the Lissies. K 
game has some lag too. I'm sure you can see the kind of the way that it skips when you scroll around. So, but I mean, it's to be expected. It's still very, very early access. Hey, look, they're kind of clearing out the pasture. So maybe they will. Maybe they will raise some cows in there. Or do we not have any cows to raise in there? We may not have cows. We do not have cows to raise in there. That may be a problem. Can we milk anything else? No. That's unfortunate. I think we should make some track parts in a metal workshop. Just to see what that looks like. Metal workshop. We can do that over here. Track parts. There we are. And we're going to assign a colonist to... Yep, we need to assign a colonist to metal metal workshop. Let's see, who can do this? We still have way more copper than we know what to do with. But that's what happens. So what else can we make here? What else do we need to make here, if anything? Construction blocks would be good. Make those. Those take copper and blocks. Stone blocks. Let's set up one of those, too. Put that here. Maybe we can use some of the copper and hopefully... Hopefully... we get. Can't make any of this stuff yet. Oh, we're not making iron blanks yet, so we can make the iron tools. Conveyor belts, we need batanium, which we won't get until a later island. I think one of the islands with the black ground. Find wooden parts. Take machine parts to make. Could make some machine parts too, just to use up some of that stuff. I'll put that here. Machine parts, and we'll need to do some more machine or yeah, metal metal workers. Click. Right click, machine parts, valves, you and you. Sleeping. Awesome. Okay. Oops. Now maybe we'll move some of this metal and make some stuff. There are a handful of those items on ship. Right, so we don't have any cows to raise, so we can't raise cows there, so we can't have milk. So we'd have to import the milk in order to make chocolate milk. Charcoal is just a matter of time. Oh, we need a little more space for it, too. We don't have space for 48. We need to have space for 50. Do that. And then the track parts is just a matter of time. 
But I'm not worried about it because we can leave this island whenever we want. Are you still unminable? You are. You're still mining this geode for a little while yet. I think we've almost... Almost cleared everything else up. Yep, I think that's pretty much it. So... construction blocks you're making machine parts like we found some probably laying around unless we've already made four of them track parts we've already got 17 oh we are making construction blocks for sure because i see our friend there is unloading them are all of our machine workers sleeping now you tired of socializing? Okay, that's okay. Producing and sleeping. What are the table or buildings we make? So textiles make fabric. Uh, the quarry is needs titanium. So we can oh we can do the crushers, but we need power to do the crushers. Centrifuge is Batanium. Automatic smelter is Batanium. Automated kiln, likewise. Clay quarry, likewise. Robot workshop, we need oil. Oil pump just needs refined wooden parts, but we need power. What makes power? Thread mills make power. We need machine parts to make treadmills. Conveyors all need titanium. Could set up trains. Now that we have track parts being made, we could also do zeppelins. Stations inserters. Oh, that's how you grow strawberries and tomatoes. You set up greenhouses, but you need, of course, power. Power, power, power. Gold to make the statues. Could do some decorative shrines to make it look nice. So, what's weird to me is that the houses say they have places for four, which they do, but they also seem to have more places for, what, 15? And then these nicer houses have fewer places. Yeah. I think it's just because they're automated. You don't have to have your people farm or harvesting them. They harvest themselves. I'm guessing. Because some of these other items... Like, you know, the farm and the grove are both automated, so the greenhouse, I'm assuming, is also automated. Yeah, automation. Automated buildings work without being operated by a colonist, but require power to function. That's what it is. Is they're automated, so the, the plants will harvest on their own.
See if we can wrangle some ostriches just for fun. Yep, there's robots too. Mining and transport robots. So I'm assuming the robots work possibly at the quarries. Or maybe those are just powered and the robots actually do the mining like of the, the rocks and stuff that are laying around. That's probably the case. All right, well, I think this is a good place to end. We have uh, pretty much exploited all the resources of this island. We are able to leave this island, so we managed to basically do Island 5 in like an hour and a half, which is pretty good. So I think we will um, we'll leave it here. Uh, tomorrow is an exciting day, because tomorrow is the Factorio production line calculator, or calculating tutorial. So... Um, be sure to tune in for that. Uh, it'll be at 2 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll run, but I intend to get through the whole tutorial, which will cover everything from calculating with a calculator, like manually, uh, through um, using you know mods in game and whatnot to to calculate the production lines. Um, very easily and conveniently. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if that'll take two hours, three hours, four hours. That's probably as long as I will make it is four hours um, before I get exhausted. But if we go more than two hours, I do plan on taking a break in the middle for a few minutes um, just to stretch my legs and stuff. So, if um, so, if you're interested in Factorio, please come back tomorrow and uh at 2 p.m eastern and check out the tutorial ask questions uh heckle me if you'd like um it's a live tutorial so you know feel free to feel free to try to distract me and throw me off base um so we'll see you all tomorrow good night everyone <laughs>